Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today is going to be a nice day because we are going to review a new engine. It's something which from the demos and videos that I saw looks very similar to what features Unreal has and as well some of the Unity features. And it looks very promising. It's called Flux Engine. So today we are going to check what features the engine is going to give us, where you can download it, and as well I'm going to show you the demo from the developers with some of the highlight features. Before we jump into the video, I need something to warm me up and as well to give me a little bit of power. That's why I brought this today. Oh, let's start. First, the place where you can download Flux Engine is fluxengine.com. You can find the link down in the description below and go to their webpage where you can download and see everything which are updates and documentation. The link is going to send you to the page where I am at the moment and there are a few reasons why this engine actually grabbed my attention. In my opinion, at least from the demo that I saw, everything looks pretty good and it seems that there are some very awesome features. Second thing that actually grabbed my attention was something if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see, made with love in Poland. As some of you might know, I was living for more than three years in Krakow, Poland and it's close to my heart, so I had to check this engine right away. The Flux version 1.0 was just released in December. This means that the tools and everything is a little bit fresh, so you might not be able to find as much content in terms of tutorials as for some of the other engines that have been already for years on the market. But nevertheless, this should not discourage you because if you are interested and as well I'm going to check myself how the whole engine is performing and how everything looks like, I'll make some tutorials to help you out and as well explore some of the features. Talking about features, let's move to the features tab where we can see what exactly the engine brings. This is the showcase video that we are going to check in a second, but if we scroll down a little bit we can see some of the key stuff. What makes Flux better? Seamless, C Sharp and C++. This is going to be something pretty good for all the developers because C Sharp and C++ are very common languages and as well everyone is now very familiar especially after Unreal as well is using C++ for development. So I imagine that it's going to be very friendly environment for all the coders there. Automatic draw call batching and instancing. This is something which for me as well is interesting. I'll be checking how the automation system works. Next step is going to be for every asset is using an async content streaming by default. So this is also something which is very interesting for me because I've been working on some open world games before and I know some of the struggles that developers face. In terms of platforms, you're gonna be able to create games and projects for Windows, Linux, Android, PS4, Xbox, and so on and so on. I don't see iOS on the list, but probably it's something which is either coming or, I don't know, we will have to wait a little bit to see if it's going to be something that is going to be added. Next step is something for me especially interesting, and this is GPU light map baking. As you probably know, GPU light map bakes is something which is going to speed up a lot your process, so I'm very interested how exactly it's performing. Visual scripting, something which nowadays I think it's almost as a standard on engines, this is going to help all of you people that have some knowledge, some technical knowledge, to script a little bit easier, but you don't really have like coding background or anything like that. So I assume that it's going to be something very close and similar, for example, like blueprints, VFX tools, also something that I'm very interested, especially if you're exporting something through Houdini and how everything lines together and how it works. Gameplay globals for technical artists, open world tools, terrain, footage, folk, level streaming. This is also something that we will definitely experiment. I'm interested in if you are able to paint with different brushes and also what tweaks we can have for the fog and especially if we can make for example some texture and uh, have it a little bit uh, scattered around and not just flat fog. We are going to see this then something which as well for coders is going to be very interesting because in the editor you can just reload apparently your C sharp and C++ code. The full source code is available of the engine, which is also something amazing, especially if you would like to add some custom features. And as well, it seems that developers are very keen on helping everyone that wants to start developing with their new tool. Something that is very important to say, I see it here on the bottom, is that the engine itself is completely free. You pay 4% royalties above 25k 
per quarter. This means that for all of you that is very interested in learning new tools and developing things, it's going to be very easy to jump right into it. And then once you start earning money from your projects, you are just going to pay some small fee to the developers. Last thing that we are going to check before playing the video with some highlight features, that here in the Learn tab, there is actually a documentation. Inside the Learn tab, it seems that the developers have put a lot of effort and they have a very nice structure for everything that you need to start up. I'll be going through some of the features and learning a little bit more about the engine. While from your side, I would like you to leave a like on this video and as well leave a comment what kind of a scene would you like me to see to build inside Flux Engine. One last thing that I want to mention is that we already have a subreddit. There you can find some of the latest news around the channel and as well you can request tutorials, post your work and get some feedback on it or just create some memes for fun. Thank you for joining me in today's video, go and check Flux Engine and see you next time when we are going to create a scene using it.